Hello and welcome. I'm Cheryl. This is Your Journey Yoga and thank you for joining me. Uh, we are going to um, kind of conquer core strength. So a lot of times people ask, can you lose weight doing yoga? Well, yes. The answer is yes, because it's movement, you guys. If you want to lose weight, eat right, drink a lot of water, get enough rest, and move your body. Um, it is not an end-all, be-all. It is uh, a wonderful addition to your life um, to help you gain health, to get healthier, to stay healthy, to improve your mood, to improve your metabolism, to prevent injuries. So yoga has so many benefits, you guys. Yes, it will help you lose weight, but you have to do it in tandem with all of those things that in your head you know the eating right, the drinking water, the making better choices. Um, but it is an amazing gift uh, in that journey. So realize that it is a journey and it takes time and it takes patience and it takes tenacity and it takes coming back time and time and time and time again. So um, short answer is yes. Um, I wish it were the magic pill that we could swallow. It kind of is in a lot of ways, um, but it, it has to go along with other things and making good choices. So one of the best choices you can make is to get on your mat each and every day, um, as often as you can. I know every day seems like kind of a daunting task. So if you can just give yourself um, as often as you can, and it doesn't have to be a ton of time. It can be um, kind of a shorter version, but just move your body and get your breath moving with your body. It's a game changer. It really is. So today we're going to have some fun working on some different um, poses and some different exercises that will help strengthen your core and help flatten the tummy, help improve, improve uh, metabolism. So anytime we engage larger muscles, that's going to up boost that metabolism. Okay, so the more fire we can get uh, in that furnace, the more calories we can burn. So we will mix it up a little bit. So join me in a cross-legged position if that feels okay to you if that's just not doable find a place where you can sit as comfortably as possible and we're going to set up nice and tall roll those shoulders up and back shoulders slide down and away do that one more time big shoulder roll up and back and shoulders slide down and away inhale reach to the sky as you exhale turn to the right little tap of your fingertips lengthen through the crown of the head Get as big a rotation as you can. Inhale, reach back to the sky. Exhale, other side, turn to the right. Inhale, back to center. Again, rotate, keeping that length in the spine, engaging those core muscles, using those breaths. Inhale, up to center. Exhale, and then open. We're going to do that and reach to the sky. This time, we're going to hold it. And we're going to take that left hand to the top of the thigh, right hand behind you, and lengthen. Reach to the crown of the head and take your gaze out over that back shoulder. Mm, so can you feel that length in the spine? Can you feel that stretch in the spine? Bringing out tension and tightness. Should feel a really nice awakening in those obliques. Inhale, reach to the sky, turn back to face front. One more time, let's take it to the other side. Hand to the top of the thigh, left arm behind you, lengthen through the crown of the head, and now slowly press against that left thigh as you rotate. Mm, nice big deep breaths. Inhale, reach to the sky, turn back to face front, core strong lengthen, hinge it forward. We're going to do a little tap of those fingertips. And then we're going to reach it out, keeping that core strong, we rise. So as we keep those core muscles engaged, lengthen and reach, we're keeping that back safe. We're keeping that core strong. Inhale, reach it out. By those arms extending out and hinging forward, long, heavy lever, right? We're going to do that one more time. Reach and hinge it forward. So we're working through the lower back. We're working through the core. Lengthen and reach. We're getting a really nice stretch for the hip. And release the hands down by your sides. Let's come forward and up onto the tabletop. Hands are shoulder width apart, knees are hip width. We're going to draw that belly button in and up. We take a big breath in, keeping that belly button drawn in and up. Slowly release the tummy towards the floor. So that's kind of counterintuitive. You want to let that belly fall towards the floor. Don't let it fall. 
keep that belly button drawn in. As you exhale, lift your spine, hollow your tummy and chest, draw that belly button as high up as you can to cat. Inhale it back to cow. And exhale it to cat. Let's do one more of each of those. Wonderful for realigning your spine. Oh, just articulating those vertebrae one at a time, getting out kinks, and coming back to neutral. Core strong, you've got a tail, my friends, wag it. Just little shifts back and forth with those hips. Wagging the tail, just waking the body up. Keeping that belly button drawn in. We come back to center. Core strong, tuck your toes, lift your knees just an inch off the mat. So now we have just incorporated all the muscles in our body. We are strong through the belly, lifting that belly button in and up. We're recruiting those large muscles in the legs. Can you feel those quadriceps working? Lifting out of the shoulders. We've got the shoulders, we've got the arms, we've got that upper back. As you exhale, extend the legs. Shift your weight back towards your heels. Drawing that belly button in and up. Allowing the heels to sink. Great stretch for the hamstrings, for the calves. We inhale it back to that hovering tabletop. Engaging all those muscles. Core strong. Breathe. On your next exhale, extend the legs. Shift your weight back towards your heels. And inhale it back to the hovering tabletop. Extend left leg back, little tap of the toes. Just feel how that changes the pose. What muscles kick in a little bit more? Pull that left knee in, right leg extends. We're still hovering. We're getting that great stretch through the feet, through the calves, pull it in. Extend the legs, shift your weight back. Taking the gaze between your hands, walk stiffer hop to forward fold. Coming to the top of your mat, relaxing the weight of the upper body down. Just releasing the tension throughout the backs of the legs. Through the spine, head is heavy. Give that head a little shake. Breathe. We're gonna rock back to our toes and we're gonna bring those big toes. I'm sorry, we're gonna rock back to our heels and bring the big toes to touch just a bit. A little bit of a pigeon toed stance in those feet. Weight is going to shift into our heels. Hands are going to sweep from the back of the feet to the front of the feet as we sit to chair. Pulling the hands into heart center. Drawing your belly button in. Chest lifted. That core is strong. Shoulders are soft. Weight is in those heels. Firing up those legs. So remember, I said when we engage those larger muscles, that's when we really start to burn those calories. Inhale, half lift. Exhale and sink. Inhale, half lift. Exhale and sink. Hold. Extending arms out in front. Turn your palms to the sky. Draw that belly button in. Noticing, just checking in every so often, making sure that that belly's not just relaxing. It has a tendency to kind of just release. Inhale, half lift. You feel the heat burning? Yeah, fire's kicking in. Breathe, pull the hands to heart center and rise. Exhaling and hinging forward to airplane, arms sweep back to flight, crown of the head, reaching out towards the front of the room, shoulders rolled back, draw that belly button in and up. Now reach through those fingertips, lengthen through the tailbone, through the crown of the head. Breathe. We sweep the hands down by the knees, pull the hands to heart center as you sit back to chair. Find the focal point out in front of you. Shift your weight forward, lift your heels, and we begin to sink. As low as feels right to you, taking care of those knees, find your breath, really firing up those legs as we slowly rise, keeping those heels high, breathe, extending the arms to the sky, reach, 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 make yourself just as tall 
as you possibly can. Slowly release the arms down by your sides and gently release your heels to the mat. Rock back to the heels, open your feet to hip width apart. We come to mountain. Inhale, reach. And exhale, swan dive to forward fold. Inhale up to monkey half lift. Exhale down, walk step or hop to high plank. Releasing that left knee to the mat if you like, Otherwise, legs stay long. We rotate and extend. Right arm to the sky. So as we come into our side plank, knee can be down. You can come down onto your forearm, or you can remain on your hand. Legs can be long, feet staggered, or stacked. We lift the hand. We reach to the sky. Take a big breath in, and as you exhale, that right hand comes down across the chest, reaching slightly behind and through. Unwind it and reach to the sky. Exhale, hand comes down across the chest, reaching slightly behind and through. Unwind it and reach to the sky. Two more times. Exhale, hand comes down across, reaching slightly behind and through. Unwind it and reach. Whole body's working. Last one. Reaching back. Unwind it, get that full extension at the top. Rotate that right palm towards the front, reach it up and over. Lift the rib cage, lift those hips, lengthen through the fingertips. And inhale, reach to the sky. Slowly releasing your hand down. Coming back to plank, hold your plank. Toes or knees. Breathe. Take a big breath in, and as you exhale, lift your hips. Reach that left hand back towards your right toes. Inhale back to high plank. Exhale right hand to the left toes. Inhale it to plank. Exhale left hand right toes. Inhale to plank one more time. Exhale right hand to left toes. Inhale back to plank this time as you exhale. Come to down dog, reach that left hand back. Can you take a hold along that right leg, anywhere along the leg you like? Breathe. Now, anytime you need to adjust your pose, make it happen. You are never stuck. Releasing that left hand, we inhale it to high plank. Releasing that right knee to the mat if you like, otherwise legs stay long. We rotate and extend, left arm to the sky. So again, that knee can be down. You're welcome to come down onto your forearm. Legs can be long, feet can be staggered or stacked. We're gonna lift those hips and we're gonna reach as high as we can reach. Take a big breath in, and as you exhale, that left hand comes down across the chest, reaching slightly behind and through. Unwind it and reach to the sky. Three more just like that, my friends. Slow and steady. Firing up all the muscles in the body. Control. Deliberate movements. Now you can do a couple on your feet. You can do them all on your knee. This is progression, my friends. Last one. It's about getting stronger each day. We come back, full extension to the top, and slowly releasing it down, coming back to plank, hold your plank. Take a big breath in, and as you exhale, lift your hips, reach that right hand back to the top of the left foot, inhale it to plank, exhale left hand right foot, inhale to plank. One more time each side. Exhale, left hand, right foot. Or sorry, right hand, left foot. And inhale back to plank. Last one. Now left hand, right foot. Inhale back to plank. Now this time, let's take it back. And reach that right hand back. Taking a hold anywhere along that left leg you like. Just relax the arm. Again, if you need to adjust, adjust. Releasing your hand, 
to down dog. Taking the gaze between your hands, walk zipper hop to forward fold. Inhale up to monkey half lift. Exhale down. Gently bring the hands to the elbows, a soft bend in the knees, and just gently sway side to side. Mm, nice and easy. We come to center, relaxing the arms. Shifting our weight to our heels and lowering the bottom down. Now, if you are taking special care of your um, knees today, just find a safe, play, safe way to come down onto your mat. And we'll meet you there in just a second. Arms extended out in front. Keeping those heels down just as best we can. Release your hands, lower yourself down onto your bottom. Bring the hands to support behind the thighs. Lifting the chest, boat pose. We can keep the support or release the support. Find your breath. Now we're gonna tie some movements here together. If you are taking special care of your wrists, be mindful you can always use fists for wrists if you like. So meaning coming here as opposed to here. You can opt out and you can just stay in boat pose. That would be challenging enough. If you're gonna join me for the other poses, you will have a deeper appreciation for boat pose. It's gonna feel pretty darn good. So coming to reverse tabletop, we place our feet hip width apart, bring the hands behind you, fingertips point towards your bottom. If you were taking special care of your shoulders today, maybe you just stay right here. Shoulders feel great. We're gonna to start to lift those hips. High as you can get them. Working to make three quarters of a square or a rectangle, depending upon how you're built. Gaze is towards the sky or towards your belly button. Squeeze your buns and lift those hips. As you exhale, slowly release your bottom back down and we come back to boat. Now your boat might be the feet are down. Maybe the feet are lifted. Maybe the legs are long. You can flex your feet. Again, support, no support. Arms can be overhead. So you decide what feels right to you. Keeping that belly button drawn in and up. Now release those legs long, point your toes, bring the hands around behind you, press through your heels, lift your hips. Reverse plank. Is that right for you? Be nice to your body. If your body says, please, I'm not ready for this today, honor that, my friends. Slowly release your bottom. We come back to boat. What kind of boat do you want? Maybe. I love this one. I call it yacht, right? Not so much, it's just a big boat. Breathe, hollowing out, drawing that belly button in. Now pull it back into boat. Now we've got two more. You can either mix it up and do one more of each. You can hold here, you can take a break, or you can do two of the same. I'm gonna do one more of each. As you're ready, feet down, hands behind, press and lift, and breathe. So the body's been here once before. Now we fine tune. Knees right in line with those hips. Making sure those shoulders are happy. Working hard, but they're happy. Gaze is to the sky or towards your belly button. Release it down. Come back to boat, whatever kind of boat you like. Roll out your wrists. It's a lot of work for those wrists, right? You guys get that appreciation for boat yet? Challenge yourself. Find that boat that works for you, where your body is shaky because it's working really hard. Here we go, last one. And lift. Breathe. So working all the muscles in the body. Firing up that metabolism, guys. Strong through the core, squeezing your buns. You guys, those buns, strongest muscle in your body. Slowly release it down, but we gotta learn how to fire them. Back to boat, roll the wrists. Ah, oh, feels good. Lifting the chest. We bring the hands to support behind the legs and extend the legs, a little or a lot. Flex your feet. Now we can keep that support or release it, and we're gonna slowly lower those legs. Keep that belly button drawn in, it's gonna wanna push out. Breathe. Inhale, reach to the sky. 
Exhale, lengthen, hinge it forward. Tummy down, chest down, hands, and relax the weight of the head. Mm, how's the lower back? Hopefully just feeling nice and loose. Little wiggles of the upper body. Just roll those shoulders. Turn in the torso a little bit, side to side. And then let yourself sink. Extending one arm a little further out, and then the other. Drawing those toes back towards the crown of the head, a little tuck of your chin towards your chest. So just playing with the little different nuances within the poses can change the whole name of the game. Inhale, reach it out. Sit up nice and tall. Soften your feet. Slowly roll yourself back. Breathe. Slow, steady breaths all the way down. And relax. We draw one knee in towards the chest and then the other. Hands to the um, outside, just to the T. Knees right over those hips. Core is strong. We're going to slowly lower both knees to the left. Almost all the way down. So just as low as you can come, but keeping those shoulders on the mat. And slowly rise back to center. And we go over to the right. So really we're going to keep those knees over the hips rather than pulling those knees in towards your chest. Almost all the way down. And then back to center. Again to the left. Great flexibility and mobility for the spine. Awesome work for those obliques. Really working those inner thighs as well, those adductor muscles. We're going to keep those knees side by side. Now you can intensify this by extending those legs if you like too, a little or a lot. You decide what your body feels ready for. If you like, you can challenge yourself further by lifting your fingertips and pointing them towards the sky. So we have this tendency to kind of press through the palms of the hands to help get those legs back up. This is focusing on those obliques. Let's extend the legs to the sky. Bring the hands down by your sides, palms to the floor. Those legs right over the hips at the flex of your feet. Now let's lift the fingertips towards the sky. And we're going to lift. Can you touch your toes? Now depending upon how long your legs are, you may or may not, may not be. But I want you to be mindful of we're not bringing those feet back. We're keeping those feet right over the hips and we're lifting up. Now, if that's a little troublesome for your neck, you can support with one hand. Slowly lower it back down. Exhale and rise. Inhale it, release. Exhale and rise. One more like that. Inhale it, release. Exhale and it, rise. Next time, we inhale and release. As you exhale, lift. Now as you inhale, open. A little or a lot. Exhale, reach, lift the legs, lift the hands. Hollow out the tummy and chest, moving at your breath, your pace, so it doesn't have to be a humongous movement. It can be a small movement. Just move with your breath. If you need to release the upper body and just work the legs, that is a great alternative. Just be mindful that the lower back stays on the mat. If you need to do one leg at a time, awesome. It's learning. It's challenging. Maybe you can keep your arms up and we do one leg and one arm. So there's lots of variations that we can do here to find what's right for you. Opening and closing one more time. Opening and closing. Pull the knees in, hands to your shins, just below your knees, gently rock side to side. Mm. You guys feel that in the whole belly all the way through. 
Coming back to center. And breathe. Releasing one foot to the mat, and then the other hands come down by your sides, palms to the floor. Tuck the pelvis, pressing the small of the back into the mat, and slowly begin to lift your hips towards the sky. Peel your spine off the mat one vertebra at a time. All the way up to bridge pose. As we reach the top of bridge pose, our knees are in line with our hips. Our hips are as high as we can get them, squeezing those buns. Breathe. Bring your hands behind your back, interlace your fingers, or to extend those arms out behind you. If you can get full extension of those arms, you are ready to move on if you'd like to. Otherwise, stay where you are. If you'd like to and you're ready, roll those shoulders underneath you, one at a time. Now squeeze your buns and lift those hips just as high as you can. Be mindful that those hips don't flare out to the side. Breathe. Now hopefully you've enjoyed this practice, that you've felt the larger muscles in the body, the belly, a little heat building, maybe even breaking a little sweat, that would be good. Release your hands, unroll one shoulder, and then the other, ever so slowly, releasing back down. Tons of different videos, you guys, to choose from if you did enjoy this one. Thank you for joining me. We pull one knee in towards the chest and then the other. We're going to keep that right knee tucked in, extending your left leg out and down. Right arm extends out to a T, left hand to the outside of the right knee, and just gently guide your leg across your body. Mm, ringing out any tension or tightness should feel good for that tummy breathe so hopefully tomorrow or the next day you'll feel a little tenderness in the tummy that you've worked those muscles good and hard hopefully you'll come back time and time again I've added a little uh, link to another core strengthener um, plank challenge if you'd like to join on that. Planks are always amazing for metabolism, for strength, for core work. Slowly roll it back to center. So click on that if you like. If this wasn't quite enough for you, extend that right leg to the sky. Point your toes, lengthen your leg, little external rotation through that hip, and slowly lower your leg down and allow it to come to rest. Left knee comes in, left arm extends out, right hand to the outside of the left knee, and gently pull your leg across your body. Mm, just pull it across. Take your gaze out over that left arm. Nice big deep breaths. So if you guys have any requests, if there's anything specific, um, that I can help you with, that I can do a video for, let me know. I always love feedback, you guys. Releasing that right hand, slowly roll it back to center. Extending left leg to the sky, point your toes, lengthen your leg, little external rotation through the head. Reaching out through the toes and slowly lower your leg down. And allow it to come to rest. Bring the hands to the tummy. Just one hand above the other, covering your belly. Energy, the palms of the hands, resting against the tummy. Letting go, relaxing and surrendering into your mat. Eyes are softly closed, jaws relaxed. Thumb just gently falling away from the roof of the mat. Focus our breath to the palms of the hands, resting against your tummy. Sending that positive energy for healthy digestion. Less stress in our life. Good. 
a healthy life. A happy life. Allow yourself just a few more moments, feeling the heat of the palms of your hands, resting against the tummy. Aware of the rise and fall of your tummy with each breath you take. pulling the hands away from the tummy, opening the palms to the sky, resting your hands down by your side. We draw one knee in towards the chest and then the other, gently rolling to one side, using the strength of the arms to help you come up. We find a seated position that feels right to you, sitting up nice and tall, resting the hands comfortably wherever you wish. Close your eyes power of our breath, let it guide you today. Let it bring you back to balance, help you to find your sense of humor, helping you to find kindness and tolerance, helping you to pass on loving positive energy. Gently open the eyes, pull the hands to heart center. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope that this was a great yoga flow for you. I hope you have an amazing day. Have a wonderful, wonderful night's sleep. Take care of yourselves. If you have any questions, I'm always just an email away. Uh, but be well. Take care. And until the next time, namaste.